Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. So I'm make an easy Salisbury steak and mushroom gravy in a Power XL air fryer grill combo. All right, I'm starting out in a large bowl. I have roughly two pounds of ground beef. Now this isn't lean, so I'll have to drain the grease off of it after it cooks. I have a small onion here I diced up fine. I'm going to get that in there. And I'll save this onion bowl to drain my grease in. Use it for an multi-purpose. I'm going to put about a quarter of a cup of milk in. I'm going to add in some garlic. Now I'm using a pre-diced in a jar. If you use fresh, use about two cloves diced up fine. All right, that's looking good there. And I'm going to add in some salt. This is to taste. I'm going to put in about a tablespoon. I'm also going to add in some black pepper, about a teaspoon. I'm going to add in some Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to go for about a tablespoon of that. I'm going to add in some dry parsley. I should have had this ready. Sorry about that, guys. I'm going to add in about a, a teaspoon of that. Then I'm going to add in some Italian seasoned breadcrumb. I'm going to go for about a half a cup. I'm going to get here and get this all mixed together. Okay, now that I have my ground beef all mixed together, I'm going to wash my hands and then I'm going to bring it over to the Power XL. Okay, now I have my Power XL set on the saute setting at the default setting 350 and it's nice and hot. I'm going to take my ground beef and about the size of a pool ball. I'm going to form that into patties. And I'm going to put a little divot on top. What that does is that will keep the patty from curling up as it fries. And I'm going to all, get all my ground beef in here, get it browned up, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, now that all my Salisbury steaks are browned up, they're not done cooking, they're just browned. I pulled them out and dumped off the excess grease. I'm going to add in an 8 ounce container of mushrooms. We have to keep this a secret from Eric, guys, because we all know Eric doesn't like mushrooms. And I'm going to take the really big guys like that, and I'm going to so non-stick and slippery. I'm going to break them down a little bit. I'm going to allow these saute in here for a few minutes until they start to brown up a little bit. All right, now that my mushrooms have sauteed, that only took a minute. I'm going to get my Salisbury steak back down in here. And that one there, I put the hole all the way through, so it kind of broke up a little bit. That's all right. And I'm going to go ahead and transfer the mushrooms over on top of the steaks more on this side. And guys, it's a real quick and easy version of a classic. And if you don't have a Power XL, you can do this in a skillet, so don't feel like you're left out. All right, now that I have all my Salisbury steaks here, I'm going to spread out my mushrooms. And I'm going to add in one cup of water. You'll see where we're going with this later on in the video. I'm going to turn this on to simmer. Let me find my simmer setting. There we are down at the bottom. And I'm going to turn my temperature up to 212. That's the highest it'll go on simmer. And I'm going to put the glass lid on here that came with this. I'm going to bring this up to a simmer and allow it to simmer for probably about 10 minutes or so. Alright guys, I let this go on simmer for 10 minutes with the cover on. You can see it's simmering nicely. I have another cup of water with two packs of brown gravy mix in. Make sure you put two packs in. Because we already have a cup of water in there and this won't thicken right if you don't use two packs. I'm going to give that a stir up my spatula to get that gravy mixed around in there. Now I'm going to leave the lid off of this and I'm going to turn this back on a saute setting because we want this to uh, get hot enough to come to a boil. And it's on a saute setting at 350. I'm going to allow that to come up to a boil and allow that gravy to thicken for a minute. Then this will be ready to go. Great guys, my gravy is nice and thick. This only took about two or three minutes to thicken up like that. This is ready to go. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. I also went ahead and made some red skin mashed potatoes and corn to go with this. Go ahead and give this a try. You can see they're cooked through. Mmm. 
Mm. Super moist, super tender, well seasoned. I'll try a piece of this mushroom here. The gravy is delicious. Mushrooms are tender, very flavorful. Eric doesn't know what he's missing out on there. It's really good, really delicious, and was really easy. All right, there you have it. Easy Salisbury steak and the Power XL air fryer grill combo. Thanks for watching, and remember, love what you eat and eat what you love.